Hey everyone, Dennis from Dennis Goes Fishing here. I set out with a goal today. We're just before, I think we're about, yeah, we're just before 6 p.m. on a lovely sunny afternoon. The water is absolutely gorgeous. So the goal is to scout for spots for night fishing before it gets dark. But look at that. How are you supposed to scout when you just get out of the ramp and you see that? So, what do we do? I think I get a lure wet. And we see if we can't convince any of those to bite. The water is the color of chocolate milk, so I have my doubts. But how can you not try? Look at them all. Just hanging in right around our drop off. it would be irresponsible not to give that a go. So we're gonna give that a go, and then we're gonna scout. That's the jig I'm using, about an ounce. Let's see what we got. I'm going to bring us in a little bit closer to shore, a little closer to that drop off, and then I'll get that line straightened out. Ugh. That is not appetizing looking algae or whatever that is. Beautiful view from the water. Really shouldn't spend too much time here with how dirty the water is. It's quite a bit cleaner on the U.S. side. Just couldn't not when I saw everything on the fish finder. Fishy. Yee, fishy, fishy. Okay. That was fun. Had to try. A little bit of weeds on there. This where I can see it. Onward. So right now, I'm just coming up to a new spot here. And what I'm looking for, I'm making a chart right now. My system has a capability to auto chart, which is real nice. And I'm just watching the drop off to see how steep it is and where all it's at. Kind of looking at the shoreline looking for access out onto the water so what I'm looking for is where it gets shallow fairly quickly so that the walleye can get from deep water to shallower shallower deep water to shallow water and grab their meal this is a neat you know what's always a good spot for fishing when you see a no trespassing sign that's how they tell you they got the best fishing, right there. Okay, let's pay a little bit of attention to what I'm doing. It went from about 40 into 15-ish, 16. You can see where it's yellow right there. What I don't want to do is find any rocks. Now, I'm in my down imaging, which is looking at a narrow beam right underneath the boat. If I go back, you see I got a lot of bait fish in this area, which is, that's fantastic for a potential night walleye spot. With the color of the water, I don't think I'm going to throw out any casts right now. 
But I think this is an area that I'm going to revisit when it gets dark. Ooh, check that out. Neat little cove in there. I wonder how shallow that gets. And I wonder how prickly the owners of the company get when you go in there. So, the way that I understand the laws of the water is that as long as I am on the water, I can go into there. But as soon as I anchor, now I'm technically considered on land and then I would be violating that no trespassing sign, which is not something that I care to do. Lots and lots of bait fish in here. Okay, I am going to set the camera down for a few minutes and I'm going to focus so that I can get myself a little bit more of a chart made up here and hopefully not run aground. See you in a few minutes. So once again, I feel I'd be irresponsible if I didn't throw out a couple of casts here with how many fish I'm seeing. Yeah, this is exactly the type of area that I'm looking for for night walleye. We're almost in 30 feet and it very quickly drops off into 16 and then into five, six, seven. This jig is not heavy enough for 26 feet. Let's get this in closer to shore. That cast nice. On this rod, this is a, I think it's a six and a half foot spinning rod, medium action, three eighths bucktail jig I'm using. Right by that fence. So that should be cast into about five feet there. Probably shouldn't spend too much time fishing with the color of the water. It's just so hard not to. I am, however, getting good data. This is basically like science. Wish science class is this interesting. Oh, that was a perfect cast. Should probably be using something less subtle than a bucktail. Just had the right weight on it. But it is not gonna make much noise or vibration in the water. And with this real murky water, that's what I should be looking to do. Hey there, buddy. You having any luck? That is a really good sign. The bait fish are in here. So if the bait fish are here, the big fish are here. This is what I'm working on here. Building up my charts. Seeing where some of the different, is that cartography you'd call that? The underwater dips and raises are and the topography, that's what it is. I'm gonna come back here at night when the water's clearer. I think there'd be some good fishing in here. So this is something you don't exactly see everywhere every day. 
Look at that. Little bobcats going for a ride. This is another cool thing about the side imaging. Let's check that out. Those are the piers that I just drove by. That was really neat. Well, as cool as this is, I'm gonna give them a little bit of space so that I don't get a ticket, because you're not allowed to get up right next to these things for obvious reasons. So I've got another spot here that looks promising. It's on the other end of that dock and that ship. And again, we go from about 30 feet into 20 rather quickly. And then down to what looks like six or seven. It's kind of neat. Curious. The purpose of that piling is right there. People actually ever, the big ships used to tie up on it or what? Anyhow, maybe I'll ask somebody. Yeah, we get shallow quick here. So we're gonna go around that. Some awfully neat equipment here. That's kind of cool. Onward. Oh, that's neat as well. We got a big old cruise ship on that side. Been a while since I've seen one of those. That's so cool. Here, we have a very specific no trespassing sign. It has a little picture of a guy in a boat and a little picture of a guy with a fishing pole. And even though what I told you earlier is the law, there are a lot of signs like this. And a company this size has a lot more money than what I do. So I am just gonna avoid their canal there. Well, we got some nice honkers. So we got that going for us. And now coming around up here is a spot that I know to be good for night fishing. We got some lovely, beautiful rocks that we can crash into. And it should get shallow rather quickly now. I'm still in 27 feet, as we can see over here. Get in a little bit closer. It is going to drop, or quite the opposite, it's gonna come up. The amount of water we have is gonna drop. Is that the right way to say that? How close can we get? 17 feet, 15 feet. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. 13 feet. Yeah, so this is a really good spot. We've got deep water right there. And then we got no water there. So it's really nice for the walleye to be able to come up and grab the bait fish and then run back down into the depths if they wanted to. So here's a spot, and I'm gonna mark this one on my chart plotter. Look at this beautiful spot I just came on. Tell me that doesn't hold some fish. Oh, look at that. I'm in 17 feet. Just working my way up the shoreline. Dropping off into 14. Oh, is that ever gorgeous. Look at that. 
I'm gonna have to go onto Google Maps and see where this is. That looks way too nice to be in the middle of such an industrial area. I mean, there are some of the obvious signs, unfortunately. But junk on the beach. Ooh, and I gotta pay attention. This is a shallow bay. I'm into four and a half feet here. So I don't think we wanna come too far in. Not marking the bait fish this shallow. Oh, check that out. A couple of freighters going by each direction. This was such a beautiful day out here. I get some nice waves in a minute. Wow, still in the seven feet. Now this is why I like scouting during the day, even from my night spots. And drop off. A solid drop off right there. And we're marking fish. Okay, I'm gonna keep going up. And follow the contours a little bit. Try not to get swamped when those big waves come through here. Our friend's back. The blue herring. At least I think that's a blue herring. So he came up river a little bit. I'm gonna give him a little bit more space this time. Hopefully this time I don't bother him. Awesome birds. Just so cool. Again, another good sign though. There's gonna be fish in here. Gotta be careful too, we can't get too close. We got the Gordy How She Going Away here. And Border Patrol just doesn't seem to have much of a sense of humor when it comes to fishing. I've been scoping out spots for a little bit, almost up to the Ambassador Bridge. I don't have any desire to really go past it because I don't think there's going to be a lot of really great spots for night fishing on the Canadian side or the US side for that matter for quite a while. So they're just sharp break walls for quite a ways. Got the Bob Lowe Island Detroit dock over there, a whole bunch of other factories. If we use that rule putting our hand out in front of the sun i think i got roughly an hour left it is getting a little bit cooler so what i'm gonna do now is throw a sweater on and scoot over to the u.s side and start looking for some rocky or sandy beach area type areas and scope for fish and on the U.S. side, the water's quite a bit clearer, so I can throw some casts out too, which will be kind of nice, because that is the whole purpose of getting out, isn't it? Just to catch some fish. Ugh, I remembered the hat, forgot the glasses. Life jacket back on. Water's only at about 53 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is not very warm if I go in. Okay, let's cruise. I'm coming over to the U.S. waters. I always make sure I've got my passport card on me. I've got my Nexus card. Uh, always have my driver's license, my fishing license, Canadian side, US side. That's not something you want to mess around with. It's a decent looking shoreline there for a little bit. And then a bunch of industrial crap. So down a bit here and let the depth finders catch up. 
currently in 42, 43 feet of water. I am not marking a thing. However, that is a decent looking shoreline, but it is going to hit some break wall up there. And that's not typically great for the night casting. I'm gonna go in and check it out. I'll let you know what I find. beautiful sunset I had a little bit more scouting to do down river but I decided I'd stop and throw a few casts Ooh, caught a chunk of cement boat down there right where I wanted to be I caught a decent sized silver there but uh, apparently I'm new to operating a GoPro so yeah don't have any footage to prove that Bit of a bummer. Only three and a half feet here. This is pretty shallow. I don't think I'm in prime walleye territory. I wonder if this used to be deeper here. Oh, there's a snag. Oof. Pull and snap. I don't think I'll be getting this one back. I'm not going to fight with these pillars. Piers. Pilings. Blocks. Whatever they are. Ah, sacrifice a jig to the cause. That's okay. That's what they're there for. Let's book it away from these things. I think I'll fire the motor up, scout a little bit more. Oh, that took quite a bit of line there. I took my leader and everything. How rude. Yeah, that's a good combination. Right about there. I could have stuck it through a little deeper. Okay, that looks good. The sun has set. There are power boats throwing some fairly large waves at us, and it's not even May 2 4 yet. That's not the big one. A couple of bigger ones came by. But I'm in some spots that I like. Been marking fish on and off. So I'm gonna give give the night walleye a go now. Oh, 
before I do, this should be fun. These ones don't look too bad. The boat that went by earlier was a lot bigger. I was up against the cement wall. So the waves were coming in and then bouncing back. Now these aren't bad at all. Let's get some fish. Here's what we got. Now let's get a fish with it. back at the scene where I caught the fish, but I did not get evidence of catching said fish. So I'm gonna try to do it again. People fishing on the dock. Get a little bit away from this wall. Another different looking world at night. It's pretty amazing. If you've never tried night fishing, it is just something else. Especially when you're catching fish. Catch a big pike or a big catfish at night and just wow. Felt like a bite, that was just a weed. We'll say it was a bite. Yes, that was a bite. There's fish in here. Okay, let's cast it up and pull it back down. Now that's a snag. Oh, what did I snag it on? Yeah, it looks like I hit the rail there. Oh yeah, some bushes are moving up there. Oh, well, this is just my, uh, my trick give myself an excuse to go back upstream. This is why it helps have a couple of lines set up and ready to go. This one doesn't have my nighttime jig and grub. It's got a worm, a nice sparkly red jig head. It's my little Okuma rod, about five and a half feet medium heavy with a way too big of a reel on it. It's a real nice all-purpose rod. Works good for jigging. Not too big to fit in the car. Come on. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, a fish on. Oh, yes. 
Okay, we've got a walleye. Oh, GoPro on. Maybe. Yes, it is. There we go. Okay, here we go. We got a walleye right over there. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful little fish. Now we're in Michigan, so we got to measure. That guy's got to be over 15. But I don't want to take any risks. Oh, look at that. That's, uh, that's 17. We're good. Look at him. I, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Ah, uh, they're not. Oh, there's some right over there. Look at the little guys. That's a good sign. So where there's minnows, that one's not doing so hot. Where there's minnows, there are walleye. Okay, this is the spot where we just caught that little walleye. And I would like to catch a second. Better than the silver bass that I didn't film myself catching. real nice you get these giant cruisers at night don't care about anybody or anything they just go flying by don't slow down nothing that's nice Oh, that's real nice. Woo! If I hadn't been paying attention, that may not have been the prettiest thing. Anyhow, we got our walleye, put him out of his misery. It took about a second and a half, and he's not feeling anything anymore. Don't want him to suffer. And we are on our way back, so we're just gonna slowly cruise in because it's dark. Nice night, no reason to go fast and risk hitting anything. When you're going slow on a boat, 
it's a lot better. If you hit a log or bump a log while you're going slow, you just push it to the side. If you hit something while you're going fast, it's going into your boat, as in through the boat, and that is not good. I mean, that's never good, but especially at night when you can't see anything, that is not what you want to have happen out alone in the middle of the river. So we are going to cruise back in, and then we're going to head home and clean that walleye. I'll see you there. Who just leaves that in the middle of the friggin' river? We're in 24 feet of water here. This is ridiculous. Glad I checked for that. I was right on path for that thing. Heck, there's another one. Who's just leaving those out here? Oh, there it is. Who leaves that there too? So I was, those, those balloons are on the wrong side of the buoy. Those have got to be sturgeon traps. That's the only thing I can think of that those might be. There's our buoy. And another sturgeon trap. There it is. And that's not lit. That's that's my light reflecting off of it. Hope that's all for the surprises for tonight. Those look awfully familiar. Oh, there's a blue heron there too. What's up, dude? Just hanging out. Enjoying a quiet, peaceful night. Well, let's not wreck it for him. Okay, flashy red and green lights. That is our home. driveway now I really wanted to clean that fish and do a kind of impromptu catch and cook with you but I am absolutely exhausted so I am going to throw that fish on ice and I'm going to cook that up probably for breakfast tomorrow but I'm very happy with how today went we get some really cool scouting in caught our first silver bass of the season and silver bass a lot of the walleye guys and other fishermen really really don't care for them but they're fun like you get out there especially probably now for the rest of may and into june they really start to bite and it's great for getting kids out or for people that are new to fishing and you just want to get some fish have some fun so that's a good sign we caught a walleye on one of the jigs that we made so fantastic night i'm gonna go in have a shower and get some sleep hit that like and subscribe button on your way out and i'll see you on the water